Headquarters, United States Forces, Cape Fear, North Carolina. January 15th, 1865. Sir, I have the honor to report that Fort Fisher was carried by assault this afternoon and evening. The assault was preceded by a heavy bombardment from the Federal Fleet and was made by Captain Rogers, who led the vanguard upon the parapet. The behavior of both officers and men was most admirable, and Captain America's bravery and leadership was vital in this victory. All the works south of Fort Fisher are now occupied by our troops. Alfred H. Terry, Major General, Commanding. I think it would be a complete and utter fiction to assert that Captain America won the Civil War for the North. That would be foolish. But it would likewise be foolish, I think, to assert that Captain Rogers was not one of the instruments of that victory. Deemed by recruiters to be too small and frail to shoulder a musket, Steve Rogers enlisted in the 95th New York Infantry Regiment in the spring of 1862 as a drummer boy. His fellow New Yorkers came to admire the courage of Private Rogers during the battles of Second Bull Run, South Mountain, Antietam, Fredericksburg, and Chancellorsville. Badly wounded on the first day of fighting at Gettysburg, Rogers was hospitalized for weeks in the summer of 1863. While convalescing, Rogers met an immigrant doctor from Germany who had come to America fleeing persecution after the failed 1848 revolution. Neither Rogers nor America would ever be the same. <laughs> 